play a little song, um, a Gloria Estefan song called, um, I don't know what it's called, but the words are, coming out of the dark, finally see the light shine and it's shining on me. Um, that song played a big role in my life when I first came out of my previous church and landed myself in Crave. It really felt like I was coming out of the dark and into the light, like the message of Crave and um, the people there, I was so in a horrible place. I was over church completely. Um, wanted nothing to do with it, but was so welcomed by everyone at um, Crave. And um, yeah, it was just it was just a place where I could really recover and, and be restored back to normal again. Um, I was so drained from everything that had happened in my life, like the church that I was involved in. I was so heavily involved that it became such a drain and a chore and an obligation of leading the praise and worship morning, night, and, you know, and, and ministering to people all throughout the day. And by the end of Sunday, I was so tired and exhausted. And I say to that, what is the point of that? What is the point of that being the experience of church and the feeling that you have at the end of it? Um, so yeah, um, that combined Combining my church life and my personal experience, I was really at the end of my rope. And the only prayer that I could pray to God, I've said this before, was help me God, please help me. I had nothing left in me, nothing else I could say or pray. Um, and it left me unable to give to others as well. It, it made me just, just completely drained of, of anything that I could possibly be for anybody else in my life. So. I feel God heard my prayer, and I have this picture of um, you know those machines that you with the claw and it like picks up the toys, and you got to try and get those little the little fluffy toys. That was God, that little claw, and I was a toy, and He like picked me up, and I was like, "You've had enough now, <laughs> enough of that stuff." You, you, it was like that literally. You know, overnight, my, my whole life completely changed, and it was hard. It was tough, and. Um, it was the hardest time of my life, but I would not change a single second of it because it landed me here. It landed, it landed me in a place where the vision of this church is huge, if you think about it. If you think about having a church that actually is accepting of all people, not just say that they are, but really just wants to, wants to allow God to be a part of, of your life, no matter who you are and where you've come from. And, um, I think that's just great. So I wouldn't change anything about about where where I've um, come from and what I've gone through. So um, yeah, I think the way that this church is changing and the thrive groups that we're going to be developing, I think it's really exciting that we will have a space where we can really connect with each other. That we don't come each Sunday and it's something that we feel obligated to do or that is routine, but it's something that. Um, we can really get to know each other and really be there for each other and love and support each other. Um, which can't always just happen when we just come to a service. Like it's, you know, just connecting with each other and chatting and seeing where everyone's at, how, they, how their week has gone. Um, and it's not always been, it's not always a great week that we have. Sometimes it can be really busy and, and draining and things can happen in our world that that's quite difficult and I think it's great that we can come here on a Sunday, get together and share with each other the good and the bad that's happened in our week. You know, the good, we can encourage each other with the great things that have, that have occurred throughout the week and if we're struggling with things then we can also get together and really, you know, pray for each other and just talk it out with each other and I think that's, that's what's going to be great about these Thrive Groups. Um, I keep looking up there, but it's just my name. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's helping me. Keep that here. <laughs> so uh, that's what I, I want to see church as. We, we, at the end of the week, we all come together and we have a time where we can really recuperate, really refocus on what's important about life. And I love that Bible verse in um, Matthew, um, I think 6, 34, that says, um, I really shouldn't hold it. Um, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And I think that's great that we can come and just 
I like to be you had a little update on your Facebook about living in the moment and it's all we have. Like if we can come on a Sunday and just get that message of okay, all we have is now. Let's just really enjoy this time. Let's praise God. Let's um, be there for each other. Let's love each other. And and just get re-energized for the week that we've got ahead of us. You know, I think that's that's what that's how I want to feel at the end of a Sunday. I don't want to feel exhausted and drained like I've got nothing left to start my the rest of my week. But if we can um, get that message of living in the moment, like the past is gone, the future isn't here yet. We have this moment, like right now, that me talking to you. That's all you have right now. That's it. Sucked in. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's all you got. So it's about take, making the most of um, those moments in life. And I think that's what's great about Thrive. That's going to be refocusing and, and um, yeah, that's about it. That's all we've got.